They want to see him get on a roll. He's 2-0 on this home, on this situation where they've got 17 games in 31 days. They want to see him going. That puck turned over by the Jets immediately. Back on the near side. Out of the point, it's Pion. Connor finds Pierre-Luc Dubois. Pion with a long wrist shot. The puck is saved by Kemper. Rebound score. You could see that one coming as Shifley's eyes were as big as silver dollars on that loose puck at the far circle was able to ram it home and the Jets with a power play goal have a one nothing lead to impact the power play for Winnipeg they've got good players good hands they can do a lot of things but they move Shifley from one side to the other so now he's on his forehand for this kind of situation and he just walks in this is a this is a Nathan McKinnon special right there you're on your left wing you come in right-handed shot and you just fire it and perfect Patrick will shovel it off and McKinnon What's the break shot? Goes right wide. Miko in the circle. Shoots. Saved by Hellebuck. And it caught him up top. He barely got enough of that to get it away from him. Come out of this ahead. He's got family in Winnipeg. He wanted to play in Winnipeg. And he is a good player. That big, strong. Connor is back in yet again. Shoots and a save by Darcy Kemper. Kyle Connor right now is everywhere because it wasn't uh, Connor. I apologize. Number one center is on the ice in Shifley to the high slot. And Morrissey shot never got through. Another shot and a save by Darcy Kemper. That puck is loose and the abs are able to scoot it up and out. But Winnipeg had a couple of kicks at the can point blank. Hell, crowd doesn't like it here at Ball Arena, but it's ripped for Byron. He'll find McKinnon and he'll motor his way ahead. Drops it for Byron, walks in and shoots, and he rings it right off the iron. Oh man, Bowen Byron with a heck of a look. Landeskog on the back check. Outlet to Burakovsky. Feeds it for his centerman. Back to Burakovsky, and Hellebuck got there a moment before. Jones with a drive. He scores! It might have been deflected by Nas and Kadri. He was right on the doorstep. But Eric Johnson continues to let that puck fly. The Condor gets it to the front of the cage, and Kadri with the redirect. It's a 1-1 game, and for Nelson Kadri, that's his 12th of the season. This is, watch the play that Kadri makes right there. That is a brilliant play. Now, he's going to get rewarded with a goal and a deflection right there by going to the top part in front of the net. Look at him fighting away right there. He just shows unbelievable finesse, dumping that little aerial across the across. Moj, it used to be kind of unique. Watch oh. out, Jets, with a poke away by Shifley. They've got numbers three on one. Siri pass shot. Oh, my goodness. Ehlers fanned on the opportunity as Kepper made the push to the right post. Ehlers stuck that stick out, just kind of batted at it. Got it to the pad. Shot redirected wide by the Jets and Pierre Le Dubois. <laughs> I had four minutes in penalties, but I sat for 42 minutes in penalties. <laughs> O'Reilly, uh, yeah. he's sitting for O'Reilly. O'Reilly, he's going to get some repairs. Here's McKinnon in the circle. Rico shoots and a save. Score! It bounces off of Hellebuck right to the goal line. It's pounded home. The Avs with a power play goal. Does he end up touching this one? It looked like he may have. Puck comes through right there. Gives it a little whack. So that'll be the a direct big line goal. 29-96. 92 puts it in. It might have bounced it anyway, but it was bouncing right on the goal. Head is up. Swings to the near side. A little dangle move and shoots! Oh my goodness, what a save by Hellebuck. Here's Taves up top again. One-timer McKinnon and a blocker save by Hellebuck. Yeah, they said we don't need that. <laughs> no, idiot. Great players. Abs with a draw on McKinnon. Looks at the bottom of the circle and shoots. Save your best. Miko Rantanen, the moose gets loose to the top of the crease, able to bash it inside the near post for his 16th of the season, and the Avs have struck Pater not once but twice in period number two. Yeah, the game's sitting, sitting there, Moj, 1-1, one, one. you're looking for something to happen, something to break this thing open, and the big line for the Colorado Avalanche. Big power play goal by Landis, and they're ranting, just uncontrollable in front of the net. You see the guy, the guy's on, he's doing his best, but where does he end up? Flat on his stomach. As Rettman got himself free, sets it down low, looking for the redirect from Landis, Scott. McKinnon, dicing his way up top, turns it down the slot, save, rebound, Landis, Scott shoots, score! Game Landis, Scott cleans up again. 
The captain finds the loose change. This one goes past the blocker of Hellebuck. Everything, and this, this is what makes the Avalanche so dangerous. Everything is equal, except for this line. And they have three goals here in this second period, and they're unstoppable. Land is stuck. All three of them, those situations, they're dangerous. Filtered ahead by Helm. Here come the abs racing back in. McDermott over the top of the net, and he got a lot on it. Batted out, out of midair by Jones. In any fashion, has to be one of those guys, and they targeted Obey Kubel on the waiver wire, and we're happy to have him. He's played a good role. Back in, here comes Schmidt, the defenseman, and a save by Kipper. Rebound went out of his glove, and he's able to reach back and scoop it up. And Darcy Kemper almost just scored on himself. Winnipeg, they're they're three and one. They lost the first game, but they won the last three. And they they, they want to play well for their new coach. Here comes Cattery working his way in with a shot and a blocker saved by Hellebo. Nikolai Ehlers out there with Shifley. Cross ice pass. Stanley with a shot. Saved by Kemper. Puck is behind him. It's at the post. And finally we get a whistle. You got guys flying in shape. That talk about momentum, maybe not a goal, but some momentum offensively. A lot of time left in this game, that's for sure. Perfect. Steers it up. Shot. Saved by Kemper. Rebound. Sprawling is Darcy Kemper. McCarr able to jam it up, and it stays in the zone. A nice stick work there by Adam Lowry. Abs sitting on 35 shots on goal. Winnipeg has 31. The, the temperature's down in the building. If, if the Jets had it going. McKinnon shoots and scores! The temperature just got hot, and I mean fiery hot. Nathan McKinnon. Well, just when the Avalanche needed a shift to kind of get things calmed down, they get it from the big line. And they also get a goal. And now he's got four points. And now my buddies can stop calling and start saying, what's wrong with McKinnon? Uh, a goal and three assists? If that's a, you know, that's a problem with you, then... I got one for you, Moj, after we, when we get a chance. Talking about how the Hawk is going to come fast and furious for the Avalanche. Miko dangling into the slot. Shoots him, rebound, score! <laughs> Game of land is gone with a hat trick. He cleans up as he marched his way to the front of the cage. And the hats come raining down on the ice at Ball Arena. Land is gone, his fourth career hat trick. Did you see how cool he was walking into that? I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm trying to figure out because I love watching him play because he he's the the pace setter for this club or whatever you want to say. But he is playing with such a calm confidence. But when he blows, I mean, it's just outlet finds EJ. Hot pass, Burakovsky. Johnson looks in the Byram one timer score Bowen Byram a power play goal from the dot EJ sets him up and the abs have poured it on Winnipeg seven unanswered goals here tonight no no no, no. none of the big boys were on these were the guys that get that little extra opportunity when it's a situation like this and boy and Eric Johnson what a couple of games he's put together for the avalanche what a shot by Bowen Byron. Five seconds left as EJ works it behind the cage and will eat that puck. 